Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is Panasonic Sandbar SCHTB258 Sandbar. This is very flat and compact sandbar, 45 centimeter wide. This sandbar deserves your attention. It's 120 watts sand output. This sandbar is with wireless subwoofer. Okay, now. This gear deserves your attention. You can hook this soundbar up to your mobile device, computer, TV. You can connect it via Bluetooth and stream music from this home theater gear. You can also connect this soundbar to your TV via optical cable and HDMI arc. Unfortunately, the cables are not included in the packaging, so you need to get the cables separate. I'm going to put up a link how you can get these cables. What I want to show you is basically how to connect this sandbar to your TV using optical cable. This is the optical cable. I got this at home. And this sandbar, the optical cable is here. Okay, this is the optic, optical cable spot. And this is this spot here. Spot here is for USB for update. And this spot is for HDMI app okay and this is the wireless subwoofer once you switch it on and switch the sandbar on it will come on automatically okay so switch the sandbar on now and the sandbar is on okay and once you switch it on the sun the subwoofer will, the light will be steady if the light is flashing it means it's not linked okay and you can see this is bluetooth and it's looking for the bluetooth device so what you want to do is to first of all connect this to tv using optical cable okay and to do this this is optical cable okay so you go in to optical cable push it inside okay and it's in so push it inside and this this optical cable is in now the next thing to do is while you are doing this is also make sure you switch the sandbar off from the power okay because this optical cable transfer audio sound okay now I have LG TV here this sandbar can sit underneath Panasonic TV but it doesn't sit under it or the TV okay this is LG TV so it doesn't sit underneath it it's actually built for Panasonic TV in mind but this sandbar can you can hook it up to any TV okay so once you hook up the optic cable to this end of the sandbar then the next is do the same thing to the TV okay so Take this end of the optical cable, okay, to the back of the TV. You can see where it's written optical, optical digital audio. Push it inside and it's in. Okay, you can see it's in. Okay, now the next we need to do is we need to also remember to connect the TV antenna. Okay, so this is the TV antenna. Okay, so hook up the TV antenna. Now the next to do is to plug in the TV. Plug the TV to the socket. Also plug in the sandbar. So plug in the sandbar subwoofer and the, and the TV to the power socket. Okay, and this in. Now the next we need to do is we need to switch the TV on you can see the subwoofer okay so switch this sandbar on okay the sandbar is on now okay and once you switch it on the 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 light the wireless subwoofer so we see the sandbar on and wait
the soundbar okay is on and is in bluetooth so what we need to do is we need to we need to select optical from the remote okay select optical and now the soundbar is in optical you can see it's an optical okay so use the remote control okay this is bluetooth this is optical and hdmi so use the remote control and select the cable you have we have the optical here and is in music and also this wireless subwoofer is linked if it's flashing it means it's not linked okay now what we need to do is we need to select the switch the tv on So switch the TV on and this, this is the TV. Okay. Double two, double two. This, this is the TV audio. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go to the TV setting. Now do you want to connect to previous HT 8500 cancel? Okay, so go to the settings for the TV. So go to the TV settings. Okay, and scroll down to the sound. Scroll down to the sound. And you can see this is now a TV speaker. This is this is TV speaker, so we need to select TV speaker, select on it. Okay, and now we selected TV speaker, use the side button to go to optical. Okay, this is Bluetooth. This is mobile device. This is optical. Select. Here we go. You can see the audio. So this is the audio sound. I don't want to leave this in one place. You can use the you can use the remote for the sound bar to increase the volume. So this is the audio. Can I increase the volume. What about agreeing um, with the groups in terms of what they're demanding and meeting some of those demands? And would you? You can also change it from music to cinema. This is cinema. And should scrap all new fossil fuel licenses. I think it's outrageous that we started um, fracking again. I this is the audio sound. But what I'm very concerned about is that that is an argument we should be able to win. Look at the... There's the larger kitchen dining space. So this is the audio. I don't want to leave the, oh, this in one particular place. But these are not the ways to win those arguments. These are not the ways to hold... So Tim did not mention... The so this is how to hook this up. But once you connect it, you won't be able to connect it. Increase the volume of your TV once it's in with optical, so you need to use the soundbar remote remote to increase the volume and also decrease the volume. Okay, so use the soundbar to select the odd use the soundbar remote to select the music or cinema. Okay, so. This is how to hook this up. If you're happy with this, please do consider to subscribe and help the channel. This is the audio. Thank you.